Welcome back to Life is Strange. Today we are doing episode two. I'm very much enjoying playing this game again and I'm very glad to be recording it. So let's get into it. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! They called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? Playing this game again is like rewinding back to like when I was like 14, playing it on YouTube. And when I played it later, the first time. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. I love them. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. So good. That's so good. Yes, I will choose very wisely. I will make the wisest choices ever cho 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 chosen, choosed, ever choosed. I will choose the w wisest chooses that have ever been choosed. I'm not even gonna stop it. I'm, I, if I get copy strike, I get copy strike. <laughs> I'm not monetized. Cartier, Bresson, Boineau, Hamilton, the greatest. No emoji. On my way, I say as I'm getting out of bed and Two targets independent of each other leading to two different results. 
what the hell am I writing? M equals mass. And then there's a Venn diagram of like equation. Yeah, I, this is perhaps I'm stupid, but this looks like nonsense to me. I feel like the people who wrote this game were writers, not mathematicians. Okay, um, what was I doing? Let me play guitar. There's no... Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> playing something good. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I play the guitar and she starts playing the song. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Because you can definitely learn enough quantum physics to okay, explain Max, time travel in a night. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. That's great. Hello, Alyssa. Hopefully nothing bad happens to you right now. Ow! Damn. I don't... Okay, the, the, I started using a controller. Since then, I don't remember the controller controls. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. You're welcome, Alyssa. Just an everyday hero, you know? Instead of, like, saving children from burning buildings, though, I save this, this lady from getting hit in the head by footballs and toilet paper. Oh. I can just walk in her room. Who's sleeping right now? It's only 7.38 a.m. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, so this is how you get an invite. How did I never know this before? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back. To my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for Hell yeah. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. 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 <laughs> it's like the meme. This is both sad and pathetic. Don't just go through her trash, you fucking freak. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Dude, I would... You should do like me and go dressed up as Chloe Price. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. I suppose this is... Okay. I always wondered how uh, that one choice was said... Did or did not have a... I'm not gonna knock. I'm not knocking on some random woman's room. I don't remember the controls. What am I doing? I'm getting a shower, right? Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. Hello, Kate. How are you doing today? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. You're welcome. Anytime. That guy has issues. Yes, he does. I actually know him. Isn't everybody I'm here? like related to him, basically. Ask, do you still have my copy? He's my father-in-law. Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. 
Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. I'm good to flow. Thanks. I, that 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 line is in so many places in this game, I swear. By so many I mean like two. If I had a nickel for every time Max said, I'm good to flow, thanks, in this game, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Ominous shot of Kate. What's up, Kate? Cool. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Let her rave. There's nothing wrong with a little making out on the side. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. I feel like Regents Nathan doesn't that. have the good shit. I feel like he sells you like yeah, diluted shit. All over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. Did you not like we shower? The way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. Damn, just you can hang out with Kate or Max. Just abuse them. Yeah, you can hang out with me. Right now. Come join in. Let's hang out. <laughs> She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Oh my god. Why are there these awkward that. pauses? I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. Yeah. You are <laughs> such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Is this how teenagers talk? Like, I'm not one of those anymore. <laughs> Who writes out URLs? I've never seen anyone like write out a U URL. And who the fuck? Who the fuck was so dedicated to cyberbullying this poor girl that they created a website? They went and licensed a domain name for like katesvid.com or whatever that said. Okay, I'm a race. get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Yeah, because it was a huge sacrifice to uh, wipe that off. I forgot. Rachel is a whore? Okay. I would love to believe Rachel Amber is just hiding. Maybe she is. I'm not knocking on her door, sorry. I almost wish I had the remastered version, but I'd heard it's like a horrible, like buggy mess. So, original version it is. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Another doe shirt. Wow, thematic. No book here, and nothing here. Doesn't move anything. Just. Looks at it and says, My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. <sighs> of course, she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Okay, so LB is the last one. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry say, about being late anymore. Keep I calm. I have all the time in the world now. Keep calm and carry on. Okay. I'm not gonna water you. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. What? What does that mean? How did your finger turn green? What did you do? I hope you 
fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Um, staff, I would like to play Dungeons and Dragons with you. Wait, wrong game. Private number. Gee, I wonder who this is. Keep my smart mouth shut about everything where I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Damn, I wonder who that is. Hey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you. She texts me a month after I moved to school. But don't drown it either, mommy. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry Riveted yesterday. by it. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could Yeah, I'm gonna go to the I'm high school's, serious. uh, science can't explain student that snow. to know. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. You heard True. me. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. <laughs> Average Redditor. Where's Kate's room? Kate? Oh my god. People really just want to bully her. They're just more determined to bully her than they are to, like, make hey, good grades. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Hey, at least I knocked. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Or boating? That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. <laughs> Fucking nerds. Hi, kid. It's okay to be a nerd. Oh, some fucking nerd. Ouch. She left out amnation. Wait, let me read this. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your heart of image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Can confirm this is how all, like, the Pentecostals or Baptists or whatever the fuck she is. Lutheran, what are you? That's a little... This is how all evangelicals talk. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. We throw the eternal hellfire around like... Ouch. She left out we... the nation. <laughs> like, they throw eternal hellfire around like the letter E. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pig's Wow. Story. Jeez. They're really setting Katie us up here. Katie makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Hallelujah. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't... Okay, 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 okay. You're, you're laying on a little thick game. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Um. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, of course. I actually do care. Anytime. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. I should ask her about the video. Definitely won't be triggering at all. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. 
I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Do they have red wine at frat parties? Not enough to get wasted, is it? No. I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Aha! Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor. It was a pervert instead. And felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Um, I'm, I hear you. I understand your feelings are valid and all the other things I'm supposed to say when someone's in crisis. It's way too emo in here. Where do I put it? What am I supposed- where did you say to put it? I wasn't listening, sorry. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Yep, and then she started listening to heavy metal and drawing skulls. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? I mean, they're not going to do anything, but yeah, you're well within your right to do that. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally See, I said the thing. You say. I hear Prescott you. You are totally you are valid. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police and uh, also Principal it, Wells. Maybe not that if one. Who is my backup witness? They'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into yeah, this shit. I'll survive. I know the future of the game, so she can go in the past, but I see the end of the future. Oh shit, am I late? Am I late for my first date? It has not been 40 minutes. It's been 30. No emoji. She's too punk rock for that. We all know emojis are just the antithesis of punk rock. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. Is that Warren? That is Warren, isn't he? He's creeping outside the girls' dorms. Fucking nerd. Okay.
Hello, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Fair enough. I'll say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? T-Rexes. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right Why would he laugh at that? Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that he would laugh oh, at, yeah. That's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I Sounds about right. I to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> you didn't have to say it like that, Samuel. I'm just going to chunk that up. Chalk that up to you being socially awkward. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, photo op. Nice. Come on. Oh, I have to look away. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. I want to turn on the sprinklers again. I definitely won't play with this Damn thing it. again. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. Yeah. Too easy to sneak into. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? That's creepy. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? That's creepy. Uh, Sammy. Okay. Yeah, take it back. You're not just socially awkward. You're a bit of an odd duck. Silly Hello goose, again, as some might say. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning. Of course you will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello again, Sam. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry. Sorry to pry, she said. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels. I so don't want to... Of course you will. Well, that was creepy. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead okay. of smack talk, yeah. let's just talk. You could have said it once. less awkward than that. I'd make fun of you, too. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. Oh, is she one of those Children. girls? Why that do you is, hang that out is with Victoria? weird. She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy, too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Fair enough! Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick, but whatever. We've had our talk. Woo! New dialogue option. Okay. What was I gonna say? There was something important I was gonna say. 
like life changing. I don't Hi, remember. Hi, take. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me, like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing. Oh, I was gonna down. say. I'm pretty sure there are like That's abstinence posters I'm up around that Kate dead. put there. So yeah, okay. But the Prescott dormitory. Why would you cyber bully someone over that? His family owns my dorm. Oh, I can just leave him. Pardon. What? what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way. Thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. Oh, my God. He has Rodinger's cat on his shirt. stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Shirt. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, yeah. she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Oh, yeah. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psyched? None of your business. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that driving is oh, no. a 70s planet of I'm the not, I, I'm, I'm, Let's go ape. I'm going to friend zone you. When? No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go ape myself. That's respectable. I've gone to the movies many times by myself. That's respectable. Don't let the, don't let me stop you from enjoying life. You may be thoroughly friend zoned, but at least you know how to go have a good time. Might go have a good time, I mean, like watch a movie alone. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Hello, Mr. Bus Driver. Plot twist, Rachel Ambers, the bus driver, just in a Mission Impossible mask. Jose Gonzalez, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that's who that is. I don't know this song other than from this game. I don't recognize this one, but I know who that is. This must be a bougie school to have like our own personal bus. That like takes us not just not like a school bus, but like it's gonna like take me to the diner and shit. I want to live in Arcadia Bay. Certainly wouldn't be the like most boring town I lived in. I lived in a town that was a basically Arcadia Bay, just without the bougie school. And no, like, cool view of the beach or a lighthouse. I suppose what I mean is I just lived in a very boring small town before. Four dollars a gallon? What year was this? I was like... 12 when this game came out. I'm gonna be a millionaire. 
Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Okay, this is gonna be important. So I can cash it in. Hi. You look lost. Oh, no. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. In small town well, America? What luck. do you do for a living? Thanks, I sure need it. Look, I'm pretty sure this guy has some, there's there, there's a thing I can do to the end for Looks this like guy. Looks like ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. This guy's in one of the characters in the game. Has the town changed much? The voice By actor, Neptune's I mean. Neptune's beard it has. No one like says that. Ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename By that, you just mean a lot Prescott of money. Bay. It's the same that thing. Much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. It's like, uh, they said... I get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. There is someone I want to talk to here. But they're saying, uh... It's like in the... In Chinatown. It's, uh, what they say? People who commit crimes against one person get arrested or something. People who commit crimes against entire, like, cities. Or groups of people get streets named after them. Okay. Hello, dog. This is the dog I, I saw. Another one. I believe. Hello, sir. Okay. This is who I wanted to talk to. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell. And this town. I like those shoes. Those look like, like Ed Hardy shoes. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness. I feel like that's too. most places. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work, out of home, like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. What's the population of Arcadia Bay? Like, how small a town were we talking? Are we talking like 20,000 people, 10,000 people, 5,000 people, 1,000 people? In trouble. Married to a real prick. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, um, Rachel, around a lot. I'm sure. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking all by herself, deep in thought. <laughs> Wasn't she, she just was like me for real? She looked so worried. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school. Wanted to be some model in California. A dreamer. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right. But you can't save everybody. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. 
They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press cart. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Who are you talking about? Hell, they own your Chloe. Oh, right. <laughs> Almost. It's kind of the main, like, inciting incident of the game. Doesn't this guy, like, lose his lottery ticket or something? Or does that happen when I come out of the diner? You still have it? You just walked past earlier. You're a very angry woman. I don't want to go that way. Yes, I do. I want a f Arcadia Bay free room. Please. Hello, how do you do? Speed limit 30? That's an odd number to use. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Weird lady. Definitely gotta talk to you. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. <laughs> I wish I could make the two whales my first home. Joyce making rocket coffee or juicy burgers any time. Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. Hey, yep. Um, let's talk about I David. I you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, where I David is exactly where he is. Yep. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe, maybe he's fine then. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that uh, Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. I, I, <laughs> I have to go. Is that really a big thing? At least she was chilling in her room. How do you know she was chilling in her room? You just said so. She might have been getting high or getting her spray cans ready or whatever. I'd like to think the best of it, but she's now in the Arcadia Bay Police database. True, she is over 18. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. This is fair. She can be, but she can <laughs> this is fair. Who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. Sorry, she's just edgy. It's 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 not a phase. She's just got to be rough. angsty Every sometimes, you know? Here. She can't help take it. Care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from a sketchy I want to pet the system. dog, though. Well, policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank. Good old Frank. He's pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Yeah, I'm not about to bother speaking to anybody. I'm just gonna sit my ass down. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, you still look pretty. Nice, nice save. save. Max you has raised. You're still smart. <laughs> but not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like I'm sure she believes it was mine, man. though. No matter what Chloe says. Mm, yeah, is I'm he? Sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I'm a very responsible I adult. I hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. 
You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. Fair enough. I did after William passed on. Chloe. Chloe chose to stay angry. Thematically relevant conversation. Angry. I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories. I'm sure she loves you bringing oh, that up. Dad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. You think? She hit all the phases. Angsty Soul teen. Running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos. No bad girls. Blue hair. Damn. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. She's 19, though. Why doesn't she just move Dad, out? I guess she needs, like, he's money. Not as much of a hard ass as that you helps, think. I guess. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Yes. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe I did say in that. any more trouble. Or me. Doesn't she... <laughs> Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues. Not sure that's how it works. That doesn't does affect his personal life, her, does it? Along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family. That's fine. Soon. You can want I that. It's all about time. But you can also realize that she might not want that. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, what after this deep existential conversation, what do I want? Bacon, omelette, Belgian waffle. Bacon, omelette, Belgian waffle. Um, more protein in the omelette. Let's go with that. Bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelette for the young lady staff. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Imagine waking up early enough to like go out to eat before school. Could not be me. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wake up just in time to pour a I bowl of I cereal. This moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Thematically relevant uh, introspection. Why have you? Why are you not like a manager? Choice. Did you not like want to move up? You could have like become a manager with all your experience, this is probably. Like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. I feel like it. W I could not work the same position for that as many years as she has in this game. I, can I could not do it. From here, Max. I'd have to. I'd have. I'd have to like move up or something if I'm. Like, I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, speak of the devil. You're the late one, Chloe. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you nice. in for yesterday? Oh god, mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. Well, we already had this conversation. Did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. I am. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> I love Chloe. Still the same. I love Chloe. Another reason to blow this town. Do what to this town? Sorry. What is this shit on the jukebox? Put on some. Put on some. Give me some cannibal corpse, yeah, Chloe. Out of the way. It's good. Not, uh, okay. Close enough, I guess. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on. Is this Firewalker, whatever the what your band is. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. She, she, she looks like she would have a lot of pockets. Okay, Max. Impress me. A gun. <laughs> Let's see. A gun? I left it in the car. Fair enough. 
Wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay, look at this. Change, parking that ticket, cigarettes. What was the other thing? You made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully. Panda keychain, cigarettes, and there are seven of them. I don't know if that matters. Three quarters, nickel, and five pennies. Warning ticket. Parking ticket. Let's rewind. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Why are you smoking? It's seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pocket? She counted her cigarettes before that? A parking ticket. You know me well. But oh, what is fuck. the exact time I was busted? I don't know. Ten thirty four AM. Booyah, Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What does the hell that mean? Or once a day in military time. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Okay. Three quarters. Okay, there were three quarters, five pennies, so that's 80 cents. What? None of these. There are none of the- no, it was none of those. There were- it was three quarters, right? Am I stupid? Am I stupid? It was none of those. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Keys with a panda. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Definitely didn't look at it yesterday. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Oh, yeah. I, I tend to do that to the, to, to the blue haired girls. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. What did I save myself from? And I'm hungry like the wolf. What Clearly. wolf? Like the, the wolf? Like I'm from Stronghold? I'm out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. <laughs> she's, she's so into this. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay. Hello. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No. He breaks the cup. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? And he drives off without him? Dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finished. Okay. And then the jukebox. Look at that little cockroach. Play a song for me, cockroach. I want some... Lamb of God. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. What? You don't like punk rock? Fuck you. So, what are you waiting for? Okay. Rewind it all. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Then? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this <laughs> There was just out. a very eventful 30 seconds there. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. It's just, it's it went from being boring, Chloe walks in, and then suddenly all hell breaks loose for 30 uh, minutes. Seconds, sorry, my bad. Damn, that would have been Jukebox brutal. Jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. 
Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a Poor dick. skater boy. I said see you later, boys. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. Uh oh. This game be hella gay sometimes, you know? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which Ooh. she stands. Whoa. This careful there. Story, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever. You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. That's well, uh, fair. <laughs> no, she makes a good point. Move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's yeah, what, it's what you're thinking about, isn't it? You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Yeah, definitely. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl. Is that how sidekicks work? Show me the way to close. Because Robin is very famous for guiding Batman. I want to put on a song before I leave. Drool. Want everything. I got you, babe. <laughs> how I got girl. you, babe. But no. Is that it? I got you, babe. I hate that song. I hate that song. So. I think I'm ready for thirds, but you're only on your first. My stomach plans ahead. Your stomach is stopping up. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Okay. Flush before pissing on that the floor. has been here forever. It looks very fresh. Gross. So does your mom. Love to see the your mom your, your mom jokes and, and games. Firewalk with me. I wonder who put that there. Firewalk is a cool name for a band. Not even gonna lie. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go. Um. I, I, I'll, I can answer it on the way. Start some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch. I, you see I don't. Every day these aren't mutually exclusive. How you roll. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. This, this, this is toxic, Chloe. This is. This is toxic, Chloe. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get. I can. Away, I can okay? answer it on the way. These aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah, yell at her, Joyce. Yell at her, Joyce. Yell at her. Get her. Just do your homework and don't stress. <laughs> He's so angry. <laughs> I love Chloe. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. I answered a phone call. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. All I did was answer a phone call. God damn. <laughs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I'm not rewinding that. Hello, Frank. Why are you staring at me ominously? at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? Supersized. for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. What are we going to do? yesterday i'm kind of over guns chloe <sighs> freaks me out that you have one don't you trust me yes yeah. but not that gun you have more power than an army don't be scared of my little toy besides we need it for the test drink yuck you are so <laughs> cute you haven't changed a bit okay let's do this 
Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? She called me yeah, cute, guys. Yeah. Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. What are you gonna do? You want? I found one right there. Found one of them right there. I'm, I don't remember the layout of this. Every car has its own tale and history. Yeah, something like that. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. I'm sure you can. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Eh, I feel like she could. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. But you fucking left. How could you? That kind of hurts. Well, you left. Your fault, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> so Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. Of course. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? It was probably Chloe during her, uh, like... Sunny day real estate phase. Hello, bottle number one. Also, look at the. Uh, I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Look at the the, the game design. They force you to explore by making you search for bottles, and then they throw the world building all around the places where you have to find the bottles. This good shit. Good shit. Thing here. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. I'm sure this is a popular party. Damn, that sucks. I'm trapped. Oh no. Boom, only three bottles left. Is he trying to guilt trip me into forming a close relationship with him? I'm pretty sure that's how all meaningful connections end up happening, right? Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. No one ever says that. It's a needle. I'm sure I could find some needles around here too, though. I feel like there's some graffiti I missed in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna write on that. That just feels disrespectful. We would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Psychedelic apocalypse. I want to go to a rave. I had some friends ask me to go to a rave with them. Or if we could go to a rave. I should probably text them. How do I get up there? Oh, speaking of needles. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Yeah, my little private school brain just can't handle it. Those shells look fresh. Well, way heavier than I thought. Ugh. What's Chloe doing this whole time? The Bigfoots were here. The furries, you mean? Bottles. Maybe in an old refrigerator. Yeah, I'm sure. You're so resourceful, One Max. Bottle to go. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. I would do that. She's a steampunk. But then again, my entire personality is just modeled after Chloe in this game, so. Could be a pirate. Bullshit. I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. It's crazy how I know this is a video game about like time travel and searching for missing people and all that. But I uh 
also completely believe that this is like two old friends that finally reunited. Just, it's completely believable in my mind. What are you doing this whole time? You better be doing something useful. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So bow. We can make the world bow. That's ready for that? Okay. R red flag. No way. I still don't even know how my power works or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. You are the original anomaly. Weird. It's a canon powers. event. You're supposed to be Maybe dead. Old refrigerator. Old refrigerator? Oh look, an old refrigerator. It's not in it. You lied to me. It's gonna break. Stupid bottle. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Speaking of Captain Chloe, where did she go? Beyond repair. Rest I don't peace. know. We got some tiny tools. I might be able to fix it. Where did she go? Oh, Chloe. Oh, there you are. My beloved. There's the sign. That's the same sign for the... Uh, we passed this store on the bus. I saw the sign. Thanks, Max. Why are you drinking at 8 a.m.? Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Or I could just do it. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. That's slightly above, but that works too, I guess. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Oh, that's funny if I choose that one. Hello, what should I shoot? I'm just gonna Let's choose this one. This <laughs> just watch this. Taking out the wheel rim now. Oh. Yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. I thought that was the one where she accidentally shoots herself. Dude, oh I no, this is it. I shoot. Gas tank. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back. Gas tank go. I don't boom. think it will. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. Boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Oops. Feels good, but I didn't hit any of the bottles. Oh, okay, um... 
Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Uh, shoot the bumper. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself! Ah, I shot myself! <laughs> back up, back Stupid up! gun! Hold on, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Chloe, but that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Got the bottles. Uber cool. You can tell they're real friends because they do a handshake, right? It's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. It's almost like this happens when I use my power too much. I don't feel so super. Oh no. Foreboding warnings of impending doom. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. I'm gonna take a picture of her next to the anarchy. The anarchy AA. That's a cool photo. I like that one. Oh uh, no, I missed a photo of the two whales. Damn it. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same doe from my tornado vision. Going to take a photo. It's not gonna be there. I can see through it. It's a foreboding warning of impending doom. Yep, there's nothing there. I'm just gonna go talk to Chloe then. Wait, no, 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 no. I, I get to do the cool thing where I sit here and ponder. Yes, I love a good pondering. It's so quiet and primordial out here. Hey Siri, I define really primordial. Like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Well, hi Chloe, I see you there. That was a good pondering. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? No. Oh, boo -boo. I'm, I am a afraid. rebel. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh oh, ominous and foreboding hey, shot. It's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way. It's of your very body. rude. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Uh oh. Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. 
Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Shoot him. Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. I, whoa, just, just shoot him right now. He hasn't even, like, approached me yet, and I'm just going to shoot him. I don't remember what happened. I'm going to shoot him, and I'm going to... That is hilarious. I just oh, want to see that. <laughs> Let me... Re I'm, I'll rewind. Don't worry. I remember worry. you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Friday. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. Yeah, I'm going and to... Now be more I, dangerous I'll rewind to it. Me. I'll rewind it. Just rewind. I will rewind it. I just want to, uh... Oh, fuck. Are you ready to do this? We should jet, We have course. plenty of time to do anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Oh, right. I forgot he does you that. You until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Yeah, fuck it. I think I'm gonna shoot him. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Okay. I'm going to rewind that, though, and still do it. There. This actually have consequences, yada, yada, yada. Chloe, where did you go? What way did she walk? Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Oh, there she is. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. <laughs> it felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. Uh oh. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. 
All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Uh -oh. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Okay, that's Frank good. quick cash, that's all. That's, that's, th th that's good, no, you were just using I him for financial Frank gain. Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. <laughs> That's weird. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. Oh, okay. It makes, it makes sense. The train whistle at right? the beat poet here. It's the leading lines of the track going down the frame and all that. Yeah, wonderful. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! Oh no! Warnings of impending doom! Oh. Hold on, Chloe. I'll save you, fair madam. What's that noise? The train. Oh shit. Find something. Bring me. Yes, 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 ma'am. We'll do. Right, okay. Max! I'm coming, Chloe. I got you. I'd rather have a life of oh wells than a life of what ifs. Solid. I can definitely use this bad boy. Yeah, that'll be great to cut the wires with. Um. Max, get me out of here. I'm working on it. Don't you worry your little head. Shit, I can't budget at all. Okay, okay, okay. Rewind, 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 rewind. I'm working on it. Now I can pull a total my guy. Anything cool? I'm saving you. I will save you. It's okay. I'm coming. I don't know how to sprint in this version. Oh, okay, I figured it out. What? Damn. Something is blocking the drum. Wait. There's more than one way of doing this? No, I want to do it this way. Now I can finally move the drum. 
I never knew this was possible. Please don't die. Please don't die. No, she died! I must have missed something. I should rewind. Okay, I'll just rewind a while so I have time after moving the, the wedge. I, I didn't even know. I'm used to just cutting the wires. I'm finding so many new things this playthrough. That action will have consequences? I don't even know what consequences that action will have. Yep, completely. Okay. Trauma bonds people, you know. I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair. <laughs> I just, like, fucked up the economy of the town and the all that. Class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm gonna cry. I didn't even know that was an option to save her. I'm it's curious really what right, it, like impacts that will have. For my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Yeah, real boring. I shot Nothing a man and then fucked up the economy of a small listen, town. Your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? Essentially. No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why Butterfly effect and all that, you know. A geek girl in some small town. A perfect Plot. example of strange attractors. Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, She is a hedonist. A superhero needs a sidekick. More of a stoic I'm myself. Such a shitty week, and yet one of the best of my life. Because we're back in action again. For Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Uh, Sir? Uh, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't do yesterday? There is just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Hey, fuck you, you figure of authority in my life. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to hey, Courtney. Is this where I get I, the... No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. 
I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. Damn, that's brutal. Has a strict dress code. I'm sure do it you does. Have a dress. <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Watch this. Watch this. I, I already got an invite, but. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. High fashion. You, you have a just a striped shirt on, ma'am. Okay. Party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Now I have two invites. I am collecting these fuckers like Pokemon. Hello, David. Standing there ominously. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen. Fuck you. Let's get. Let's fight. In Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole, and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of And Kate of all Marsh is a vehement threat to you. all of that. She identifies as a problem and is going to disrupt to everything. Right? Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. At ease, right? Dismissed. Right, do I owe him something? I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. What are you listening to? Luke is always using Geometry Dash. To to avoid people. You're playing Geometry Dash. Yep, no problem. You're welcome. Oh, wow. You, you found a new dude, didn't you? No, wrong guy. No, same guy. Oh, no, it's the same guy. No, different. Okay. I'm not going to keep track of who's fucking who at Blackwell. Nice pictures. Um. Yeah, I too like to just open my locker, look in it for a minute, and then close it. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody understands me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Why? Out a viral video does Damn, that. you are being. This is your way of getting me? attention. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. That. Why? You, you don't understand. Uh, that. Uh, bro just gaslit the fuck out of her. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But That's the know, only thing that bothers you, not like for you. an act in Just crisis student. Me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yes. Yes, we did. I stepped in Fuck him up. David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. Yeah, just take pictures of people in like and their Max, vulnerable times. I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. 
I assume you know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? <laughs> she means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. And? She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. <laughs> he took offense to that. <laughs> Damn. On your mind, you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Hold on, hold on. I'll probably rewind this. I saw but I want to see how this goes. In the girl's bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. I... This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Okay. I'm not going to tell him that, but... And Principal Wells said you had something uh, on your oops. mind you wouldn't tell him. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... What's he saying? What's he saying? Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do that. What's... What, what's... What's... Who are you talking to? I know. That makes sense. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Who are you talking to? About this later. <laughs> we'll talk later, okay? I have to go. He's very insistent on leaving. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Damn. This is... This is... <laughs> I'm finding so much stuff in this playthrough that I did not find before. Yes. Okay, I think it's just looping. What did I have to talk to Warren about? I don't want to, like... You should... Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look... Thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. Weird science. Hello, Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. This can't there are no hard. dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Okay. I'm Thank sorry, you, that's all I needed. But I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck.
Hey, Warren. Are you okay? Okay. Maxwell Silver. Okay. Asking... Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just let me, just let me. <laughs> Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist <laughs> yet. I, I'm Let's in the I love it. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hey, Warren. Skip. 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 Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Get my photo, of course. With him and his, his purple eye. His eye is the same shade as that liquid. He's pretty cute when he's in the Oh no, that nah, no. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, he's still on the phone with that person. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Dana, you are out of control. What's up, Daniel? Turn left. Waiting then to drop Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I, I hope you like the sketch I did of you yesterday. Like Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Who says FB is the same number of syllables? Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. Okay. We'll that, that's. The... Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. I contemplate shit all the time in this game. Damn, that's we have so much in common. We should be friends. What shit are you contemplating? Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Yes. Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson like he gives a shit. Yes, like I will. Like everybody does. Max is such <laughs> a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. <laughs> That's not even mean. It's just funny. I would do that to somebody. That is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I... Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. Hi. You really nailed me. Meow. Bring out the claws. That I wasn't aggressive. Anyway. If you took offense to that, you're just sensitive. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. I was definitely, I was joking. Assholes. Nothing makes me yawn and stretch like recording. Okay, why is uh, Daniel Ah, that's creepy. No, this is so wrong and weird. Ah, oh, come on, man. Um, what's my objective? Uh, hey Warren. Uh, what up, Max? You here to riz hey, me up? Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see you later. To cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? Um, I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh. Yeah, I literally just saw her. <laughs> Not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. 
What do you say? No smartphones in class, Max. I want to. I want to read the text. It's from Chloe. Please, please, it's from Chloe. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at please, themselves. Please, it's from Chloe. Just let me respond. For some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Who? Who is that? Speaking of participation, Principal Wells. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest, like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter. Right? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. <laughs> ever Listen, again. Do not ever do that, that again. God damn it. Poor Dismiss. dude. <laughs> Poor dude. <laughs> is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. What? Uh oh. I definitely don't know what's happening here. No. Ready for this horrible reveal. No. Oh, God. oh Jesus. Oh. She can't die. She can't. Yep, I'm, I think I'll just rewind that one. That seems like a negative outcome. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Goddamn nosebleeds, am I right? I think I have a medical condition. The symptoms are like ability to rewind time, but also chronic nosebleeds. Was she dabbing? <laughs> Dab on the haters. Uh, go a lot of birds around here today. Uh, I'm stuck on the birds. Okay, birds are just invisible walls. Nice. Hello, Brooke. Keep dabbing on the haters. Don't let current events get you down. Keep moving. Hello, Mr. David Madsen. Probably should have like locked the door so she couldn't have got up there. I feel like it's kind of negligence, but. Whatever, I can forgive it as long as you've done nothing else wrong in the in, in this game, right? Yes. Poor Kate. Honestly. I'm here Stop. to save your life. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this. This is why she kept saying we don't know how long my powers will last. Don't come near me. I will. I believe you. Okay. Okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That yeah, I too love it when better. people have anxiety over me. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written yeah, in the gonna... shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Okay, hold on. 
I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only. This hey, is. I, I need to call on all my like crisis you. training. Please, you don't have to do this, Max. I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Isn't there like a school counselor? Of my body. If you can afford to uh, go, go to Blackwell, you can probably afford therapy. So can ever get out. Right? Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Unless her parents won't do that. Okay, everybody will forget. I'm not going to say that and imply everyone will forget she existed. There are billions of videos. That is true. Be strong is kind of useless, but honestly, all of these are. Because when you're in this state of mind, you're catastrophizing and you are not gonna listen to logic. Be strong. Hey, this is our chance to beat the bullies. I'll appeal to emotion. That's the only not way we can to them. logic. Me, really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore. R slash atheism now phase. I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. <laughs> but I'll come with you. You're my friend. Right. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. What? Nobody. Where did this come from? Where did this come from? Your sisters. Tell me about your sisters. Especially the Did she? Sister. I don't remember that. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. It's okay. You don't have to apologize, Kate. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Why is Nathan here? Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. I mean, it should just Mr. not Max, happen in general, but okay. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. I feel like That's I wouldn't reprimand, the, reprimand the staff in they front not, of the uh, students. Your responsibility. But okay. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Uh, why do you think? You plan or anything I have superpowers. I actually so I was able to speed past everyone. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't just throw around the Nathan Doe's terror. It's not Jefferson's fault for making her cry. It's not David's fault for bullying her. I, why can't I just answer the question straightforward? Be like, I was up there because I saw her run up there and was like, damn, that's a problem, right? Why can't I just not tell him anything? Because I'm being influenced by my punk rock friend to not trust any symbol of authority. Well, the last thing that happened was, I don't want to make him- I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. 
She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now, this is problematic. The That's what you're worried about, the publicity. You shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. What? I understand. No, no, no. What? There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. No. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is this is the one option I hadn't done before. I think I can use my power again. I... I think I am going to go with that, though. I hadn't seen that one before. I didn't know that I... That... Well, we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. Is this like a criminal investigation? It's, I know suicide is not illegal. A stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. I feel like he's about to do that. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. Thank you, you know. <laughs> she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a super. Yeah, you were cheering as if someone was almost get, like, wasn't mess. about to die. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. Okay. Sure okay. He laying it on real thick. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over. A I'm sure that's not the only the right thing. Word. Like a disease. So you that's just it. the the just catalyst. And a half times. Asshole. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I will pepper spray the fuck out of you. No, don't do it. Uh -uh. I believe you, Warren. I believe uh, you. <laughs> no, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Get your, uh-uh. Get your hands off me, boy. These men think they're slick. I shouldn't have helped them with the experiment. Come on, you help a guy with his homework one time and suddenly he thinks... He, th he thinks he's got it all. Yeah, he had a rough day at work. Poor dude. Poor dude, he also had a rough day at work. <laughs> Got a nice car though. I honestly, I wouldn't have reprimanded the staff in front of the students though if I was the principal, but I, it's for the plot, I know.
At least she's still alive. She's about to be miserable for the next few days, though. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, we love you so much. And then you'll go right back to business as usual. I... Jeez, punctuation over text. I'm fine with emoji, but the punctuation? No punctuation. Except like a question mark. If I need an exclamation mark, I'm just gonna go all, all caps. Okay, what's this? Wait, I know what this is. Why am I... Dun dun dun! The plot thickens. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna go through these choices. Thank you guys for watching though as I go through this. I told Kate to go to police. I answered Kate's call. I tried to shoot Frank. I blamed Jefferson, which is the... Oh, it's not the least. Hmm. But blaming David is the least choose once. I did save Kate's life. Save Kate's life. I didn't water my plant. I helped Alyssa, I erased the link, I was friendly with Taylor, I rejected Warren's invitation, which no one did. That's... Well, write a message on what? Oh, on, on the Rachel Amber thing. That would have just been disrespectful, I feel like, to come in. Like, I, I know I just, like, reunited with you yesterday, but I'm gonna come in and write a message on your, like, shrine to your best friend that's missing, tampered with the rail tracks. I'm curious to see how that affects anything. I told on David to Mr. Jefferson, did I? All oh, right, I did. I helped Warren. I gained entry to the Vorkleth Club party. Okay. Oh yeah, this next episode's a fun one. It's a fun one. Chaos Theory. That's a fun one. Well, I'll see you guys in it next time. Having a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys are too. So thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you then.